we're going to be watching woohooing happen from first person mode. My name is Sezro and welcome to another Funky Fun Sims 4 video and I know that if you are here right now you have seen the thumbnail and the title of this video and you're a bit of a creep like me because in this video we're going to be exploring woohooing in The Sims 4 but specifically we're going to be watching woohooing happen from first person mode. So I made a video recently where I played The Sims 4 in first person and Mo did some activities through the eyes of a sim and it was so much fun. I had a lot of fun with it. I knew when I was making that video that I wanted to make a video specifically about romance and woohooing and here we are today. So we're going to be doing some romantic interactions through first person mode, seeing what it's like to do these romantic interactions in first person in the sims and then woohooing in multiple different ways that you can woohoo in the sims 4. But I'm a queen. So with that being said, let's get a little bit creepy and let's get into The Sims 4. <laughs> Now I just want to let you know, unfortunately, there's some laggy moments in this video. It recorded that way. I can't fix it. I'm really sorry. I hope you enjoy it regardless. So here we are with the Bays. The Bays family have made an appearance in this channel before. I have watched Woohooing happen before. But uh, in a different way. So if you want to see that video where I explore woohooing with the object size down so we could see what was going on with woohooing, if you want to see that video, I will link it in the description down below. But with that being said, we are back with the Bayes couple who are a romantic couple. They are married. They are absolutely freaking lutely in love. So we've got this little house with a few things that we're going to use to woohoo. We've got a bed, obviously. I want to have a look at shower woohooing. I want to have a look at woohooing in the closet. I want to have a look at woohooing in the hot tub because the hot tub did not disappoint when we did the other woohoo video so I'm excited to see what it's going to look like in first person and we've got the backyard observatory because that one also didn't disappoint when we did the other woohoo video so with that being said though let's get them in a little bit of a flirty mood if we can so we're going to do some romantic interactions to go into first person mode if you haven't done it before you press shift and tab so now we see everything through Kara's eyes here. So I'm going to tab everything and we're just going to let the game play out for a minute and we'll see what these interactions look like. Oh, that was a cute little kiss on the cheek. Now, I am not turning her head. My hands are here. I'm not touching the mouse at all. So the way that Kara is looking right now is the way her head is moving in the game. <laughs> Oh, a cuddle. That was cute. That embrace. Droga. <laughs> mm. hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. Oh, we're kissing. Oh. Oh, that was a little bit strange. Oh, that was a little bit funky. I don't know what I was expecting, but I just was so shocked that we were actually kissing because I didn't think we were up to that yet in the queue that I had. I just wanted to see what these actions are like. So I'm actually going to switch perspectives. We're going to go to Darren's first person mode now, just because I want to see what the sexy pose looks like and she's going to be doing the sexy pose to him. So I want to see what that looks like from a Sims perspective. That's all. She's really pretty, by the way as well. I did like nothing to her. Well, Ben. <laughs> there it is. It's all in the eyes. Honestly, it is all in the eyes. Wow. Oh yeah. 
It really is all in the eyes, though. Like, the eyes are so expressive in The Sims 4. I feel like that's one thing they've really got right in The Sims 4, is getting those eyes to be super expressive. Anyway, I think without further ado, the time has come. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have to size these objects down yet, like I did in the first video, to be able to see. I don't know. I'm hoping that in first-person mode, we're just going to be able to see what's under the covers and other things. So I'm going to try just normally woohooing in the bed normal size first, but if I do have to size the objects down, I will size them down. So without further ado, let's get into woohooing. Mm. Okay, that's the suggestion. They're about it, so they're going to go inside. Now, are we going to be able to see under the covers? That's the question, the question that I got. Do I have to size them down to be able to see? Okay, we're looking up at the ceiling, so what if I turn my head? Oop. Again, it is interesting that he's got his eyes closed while that's happening anyway. That wasn't as interesting as I was thinking it was going to be, unfortunately. But you just never know. We're going to try woohooing in the shower next. We'll see how it goes. Oh, and it kicked me out! It kicked me out of first person mode. It was like, nah, uh, uh, you can't see that. Oh my god. Wow. But that was interesting though, th to watch her pull him into the shower. That was something at least. I can't. I've tried to go back into first person mode and it's not letting me back in. Wow, Sims team. Even the Sims, the Sims is being like, yeah, you're being a bit of a creep. Okay, but I'm just curious. That's all. I'm curious. I have a feeling the same thing's then going to happen with the closet and with the backyard observatory. So I might leave the hot tub to last because I still think that's going to be the best one. So I'm going to try doing the closet woohoo. We generally can't go in the closet. So we're going to give it a try and see what happens. <sighs> yeah, got kicked out again. But the thing is, we don't generally see inside here. And when I did do the other woohoo video, we still couldn't see inside even when I sized the object down small. The thing that gives me hope about the backyard observatory though, is that we could see them while they were woohooing inside the backyard observatory. So if we get kicked out, while trying to woohoo in the backyard observatory, I'm going to try sizing it down and seeing because we still should be able to see them. The animation was there. There we go, there's the sparks kicking in the door, breaking the closet. <laughs> okay, we did just get to see inside the closet though. Do you see how loved up this couple is though? Like, oh my God, I just paused the game and we're still moving. I hate it. I hate that. I hate that bug. We're going to try the backyard observatory though. Let's do it. Let's see. Are we going to get booted out? Because we generally can't see inside here. Okay, so I did move my mouse that time to be able to turn around and see his face. I kind of want to do that one again, but from Darren's point of view, just because he should be looking right into the back of Kara's head. So I think we're going to do that one again. Wabahai. Oh, Oh, no, I need to do it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I need to now do it from Kara's point of view because she's going to be standing behind Darren now. Yeah, she is. She's standing behind Darren now. 
<laughs> I just find it fascinating that we're actually inside the telescope and we can see inside the observatory. This is what it looks like from the inside. <laughs> And the last one we do have is the hot tub. Now, I think I am going to do this one twice. I think I'm definitely going to do this one with the hot tub at normal size first, just to see if we can see anything from normal size. But I know what happens when we shrink the hot tub down. So I'm definitely going to try it when, with the hot tub shrunk down as well. But let's do it normal size first. So let's get into it. Hey. I freaking knew! I freaking knew the hot tub wouldn't disappoint. I knew it! I kind of actually want to do that again, but from Darren's perspective, and then I might size the hot tub down and we'll give that a try. But so now we're in Darren's point of view, but Kara is asking him to woohoo. So the same event should happen, but it should now, we should see Kara. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> So, knowing what I know about how Wahoo looks in the hot tub, I'm wondering what part of the body we're looking at right there. <laughs> what part of the snail are we looking at here? What is that? What does that equate to? I don't know. So if you ever wanted to know what hot tub woohoo looked like from the perspective of the sim, that's it. But I am going to size the hot tub down. I just want to see, without the presence of water, what it looks like. And you can see the water. Now, when I did this in my woohoo video, this actually bugged the game. Like, they got stuck. I wasn't able to save the game. They got stuck. Okay, so it doesn't change. It looks like it's going to be exactly the same as what we've seen. What is that that's moving? I don't know if you'll be able to see it behind my face cam, but there's like something moving there. I don't know. Oh, did she just face planted into the freaking water? <laughs> and again! <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. And again! Jeez. That's hilarious. That was pretty much the same as what it was the first time though, so I don't really feel the need to do that again from Darren's perspective. So you guys, that's all I've got for this video of exploring romantic interactions and woohoo in The Sims 4 in first person. Now, I do already know that I want to make another Sims 4 first person mode video. I've got a whole list of activities, much like the first first person mode video that I did, where I've got a whole heap of activities that you can do that I want to see what it looks like from the Sims point of view. So if you'd like to see that video or any of my other Sims content coming out, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of this video. Thanks for being a creep with me today, guys. I hope you're having the greatest day ever, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!